Welcome back to DMC Sports. Today, I'm going to show off some stuff I've got in the mail. And we're going to start off with a slab I've got come from ComC. It's one of the better George Brett cards for a collection because it's his first Diamond King back in 1982. It's an 8. It's a collector's edition or collector's, uh, yeah, sort of. Yeah. Yeah, collector's uh, grade. I picked this up, really good deal, uh, five bucks. I was like, sweet. So that's cool. As you guys know, I love me some George Brett. Here's how much I love George Brett. Here's what I did. In the same day, I ordered both of these star stickers and then the same card. I even went back and looked. Now there is a different one of these, but it's a different year. So I was kind of hoping maybe that's what I did, but uh, I probably went away from the computer and, and uh, then came back and ordered the same two cards. So I got an extra one of these. Good for me. I uh, got this card, the 85 throwback, 35th edition. And this year's 2020. Sweet. Look at this guy. Look at that. I'm trying to get a bunch of cards I've never seen, really seen before. And <laughs> this is like a, a craft cheese card. <laughs> Look at this thing. He cut, some guy cut it, and it's like he cut into the card. It was a terrible, terrible. But I've never seen it before. I had to pick it up. I had to have it. This is a slick looking card, guys. Man, look at this thing. It's like, they, they send these cards, and they're like, in, I don't know what's going on. Is that the only card in there? Yeah, whatever. It's a cool card. Upper deck. It's nice. Got a little on deck and a little fake signature. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. This card's really expensive. It's like 10 bucks. I don't know. What the heck? I mean, I didn't pay that because that's what it's going for now. Like two weeks later. Oh, yeah, somebody's going to sell it for $1.50. It's like 10 bucks. It's $150. Uh, it's an exclusive short print, I believe. So I'll take it. I love some of the stuff they put on here. So I, when I went through my cards, I noticed I didn't have an 84 Fleer, and I have no idea what it looked like. But this guy's 84 Fleer, $1.95. He sold it to me for like two bucks. So that's kind of neat. I finally picked up the 84. This card, I saw it. I had to have it. Can you guys? Let me see here. Yeah, look at that. Man, I like these uh, hologram cards. I wish there was more of them. They're pretty sweet. Even if you put them in sheets, you can still kind of move them around and see what it's supposed to be like. So, Upper Deck had it going on that year. I bought this card. It was uh, like three bucks. So, 85 All Star throwback. Sweet. That's 85. It's 83. 83. And here's 83. I didn't have this card. I've got it in Leaf. So, I went ahead and picked it up in the Don Russ edition. Uh, there's a Kellogg's 3Ds. They're pretty poor 3Ds. I mean, it's 3D, but it's not like, wow, look at that. But I don't have any, hardly any of these. So, I've been picking them up. Actually, while I'm here, I might as well just I'll show you the next three, even though they're not all the Royals or not all uh, Brett. I did pick up this this year's. It's a cool little card, a little undersized. This is weird. And I pick up these two as well, you know, to make the, the shipping worth it. Uh, I collect Reggie and, and Wilson as one of my favorite Royals of all time. So it's cool that I got all three of those. And let's see here. Uh, I got this card for like $3, and I already had it. I don't know. Drinking's bad, people. Don't do it when you're buying cards. Uh, this portrait card, this came in the mail yesterday. I really like this card. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the, the frame and it just... It's a cool card. It's the, the portraits. Sweet. Vanini portraits. I think it's a sweet card. It looks, it feels good too if you take it out and you touch it. Touch it. So, uh, that's it for my base cards. And I am guessing what's in here. Uh, I had somebody else look at it, and they assured me it's what I that it is a George Brett card. But uh, I ordered a bunch of Brett, Ricky Henderson's, and Mike Trout. This is the Project 2020 art cards. They got 20 artists to do cards uh, to reimagine the rookies or iconic cards of these players' career. So I'm going to open this for the first time, and uh, I got two of these coming. So we'll see see which one it is okay so it's wow it's a thick that's a that's a thicky let's see here which one we got oh wow that is a good one there's another one that's like purplish but uh this is a reproduction of his rookie uh very stylish wow i like that royals i like the blue did really good job on this card this looks reimagined kc the brett and it's, it's a beautiful card it's very, 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 very nice. I like it. 20 iconic baseball cards. It's just rendering. Yeah. 
1978 card 228. Wow. Very cool. Uh, looks like I'm going to go on Instagram. Maybe throw uh, Mr. Cart. His name is designed by Mr. Cartoon. That's just weird. Uh, I'll throw him a like and uh, tell him how much I really appreciate this card. Um, a lot of these cards have went up in value, folks. I spent 20 on each one. And some of them are going for up to triple that, especially the, uh, the trout. So I'm really excited to get my trout or trouts. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I bought. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. So I'll put this out here where everybody could see it when they come by. Awesome. All right. Well, this is uh, pretty cool. You guys have a, a favorite George Brett moment you want to tell me about? Mine, of course, would be the time he, held, he gave his glove to my grandmother. That's right. We had it back because he was in the middle of the game, but uh, she missed the foul ball, and he jokingly came over and, and was like, well, would you like my glove? And we were on the third base side about six rows up, and uh, it was pretty sweet. Made my grandma's day, made her month, and maybe even her year. Uh, he was very kind on the ball field, and he has I have many stories about him that I know that he's been kind off the ball field. Do you have a story you want to tell? Uh, make a video. Uh, give me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, give me a subscribe if you feel like it, and hit that bell if you want to get all my videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.